Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will continue with the Salesforce Developer Interview Question and Answer Series. Today, we will discuss part 15 video where I will be discussing Qable Apex, okay? This is the last topic or video of the asynchronous series. Like this is the eighth video of asynchronous series, so eight by eight. Uh, as well as this is the last video of the development series, okay? uh if you have not watched the previous videos of this series then i strongly recommend you to watch those first okay so let's get started again it comes under asynchronous apex and then the queable apex is the topic so what is queable apex okay uh basically queable apex is one of the type of asynchronous apex which you all know uh, I would say this is uh, a better version of future method, okay? So it is similar to a future method or a better version of Q future methods, but Qable Apex provides these additional be benefits, right? So what additional benefits? Getting an ID of your job, like with future methods, you will, you will not be able to track it. You don't get the ID, but with Qable, you can still get the ID. When we submit the job using the system.nq job method, it returns the ID of the new job, right? And then using non primitive data types. You remember, if you go back to the future methods, in future, we cannot use the non primitive data types. Only we could use primitive data types in, in the parameters. But in Qable, we can still use the non primitive data types, okay? So a Qable class can contain member variables of non primitive data types such as S objects or custom Apex types. Those objects can be accessed when the job executes. Okay, this is really good actually, but people or the developers don't don't you know use uh, Qable because future is very easy. You just have to create a method and then add right at the right future. So most of them goes with future method. But I think you should you should I, I encourage you to you know go for Qable whenever you have such requirements. So chaining jobs, chaining job is also one of the advantage. We can chain the jobs, you know, like, you know, calling one, uh, one, one job from another job, right? So we can chain the jobs to another job by starting a second job from the running job, right? Chaining job is useful if our process depends on another process to have it run first, okay? So we, these are the three benefits we have uh, from the Qable Apex, okay? So which interface is implemented for the Qable Apex? So again, Qable class implements the Qable interface, okay? So like every other asynchronous class, batch and schedulable and, and Qable implement some interface. So for Qable, it will be a Qable interface, okay? Can you write a sample code for the Qable class? Yes, it is very easy. So write the public class, like asynchronous exam execution example, which implements the Qable interface and then we have uh, again this execute method which is mandatory okay and it is uh, having the parameters queable context context as the variable again and then the implementation okay so this is how we write the uh, uh, queable class okay i think that that is it we don't have much to discuss in uh, queable queable uh, topic so you might you might get the questions from queable topic or you might not get uh, the question but it's always better to be prepared and you know yeah that's it so that's it uh, for this topic again i have referenced uh, the help.salesforce.com for the latest uh, information as well as trailhelp.salesforce.com thank you so much uh, thanks for the watch thanks for watching i hope this video help you prepare for your salesforce developer interview and crack your next job if you have any questions which you want me to include in my videos, please post it in the comments below. And if you would like this video, make sure uh, to hit the like and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. That way you don't miss the Salesforce interview question and answers videos like this one. 